Hey guys, I'm Matt. Welcome to my channel. Uh, just a few quick things about the video. It's about making bacon, which I have done for family and friends. So they've asked me for the recipe, so I thought it'd be a lot easier to show you on camera. Um, just want to say that there's a few bits and pieces that I've stuffed up with the focus because it was an old camera. The one that I've got now is from eBay. Finally got it. It took me a while, but just bear with the first five minutes or so. Other than that, everything else is fine with the camera. And I shall see you in the video. Thank you for coming to my um, my page and having a look. But I shall see you in the next one for sure. Requests for bacon. I've made it about eight times, I think, so far. And my family love it, and I love it. And I'm going to show you how to make because everyone's asked. Now, I've got two cups, or one and a half of rock salt crushed in the mortar and pestle. I've got two cups of brown sugar. Two tablespoons of cracked black pepper and two and a bit tablespoons of 6.5 nitrate cure. I get this from a Blake and Misty Gully in Melbourne. Um, but I've also got five and a half kilos of pork belly. So, first thing I'm going to do is put my first lot in. Show it to here. Now, what I do normally first. <coughs> is mix up what I mean. So normally everything is in one bowl. Don't put this friggin' fits too. And I'll mix it in first. So a little bit about myself. I'm from Melbourne, Australia. Um, I don't mind it. The first time I didn't use nitrate and it come out like salted pork as it would. Um, and I finally figured out my problem was to get the nitrate. So I finally got the nitrate. And yes, I need to put these on because I'm not touching that nitrate. It'll burn my, it'll burn my skin and I've got band-aids on so I'd rather be safe than sorry because I don't want anyone to find my band-aid in their bacon. So I'm just going to mix this up and we'll be back. Okay, so as you can see, it's all mixed up. This is all my cure. So now what I'm going to do is I've got another a plate over here that I'm just going to put it into and when I'm finished I'll bag it all and put it straight into the fridge outside for seven days. So as you can see, beautiful pork belly, I can't complain, extra piece for the dog by the looks of things. Um, and just cure it, get as much as you can of it on it. And on the bottom two. So we'll see. Yeah, this is a messy job, but I can't go outside because it's too cold where I am. Well, compared to a lot of the people that I speak to, probably not cold compared to where it is here. So just get it on, pack it on as much as you can, and just keep putting it on. I'm going to keep showing you this because I can't take off gloves and Stop. See, another piece that will go to the dog. I'm not going to sit there because it's just too much of a pain to, to cure it properly. So as you can see, just straight over everything. And don't worry, I'll put some of this back into the bag as well. When I, when I, when I stack them in there. So... Yeah, I'll get messy, don't worry. I've got to clean it up anyway, so. And that's really it for the time being. What I'm going to do is put them in these bags over here, which I'm not going to touch. And I'll sit them in my fridge outside, and I'll be back in three days to show you guys what it's like out in the fridge and what you've got to do every day. Turn it, start it on its meat side, then flip it to the pork side, to the fat side, sorry, 
and turn it every 24 hours, roughly the same time which I try. Okay guys, day four, and as you can tell with bacon, bacon, the juice is coming out pretty well, and it's doing its job. Now the cure is actually working, because as you know, with all types of meat, whether it's chicken, pork, beef, duck, turkey, gator, emu, snake, quail, whatever, everything moves. At the moment, it's very stiff, it's stiff as a board. I've got a little bit of give in the ends, but other than that, it's doing its job. Um, the kill will be another three days and that'll be spot on. I'll be back in three days to show you how I soak it and what I do to get a pillicle on it, which is probably the easiest part of this job. Bagging it and waiting for it is the, hard, is, is the, is the hardest part for me because you just want to eat bacon. Like I've got some in the freezer, but I just want this at the moment because I want to try my new batch. But other than that, I shall see you in three days and we can go through the next step. See you okay, guys. Day seven, it's all nice and cured, it's all hard. Thank Christ. Now, I'm gonna soak these in the sink for four to five hours. Now, I'm gonna pull this out and show you what it looks like compared to what it was. It's a beautiful piece of pork, well I think it is anyway. It's got beautiful colour on it and a beautiful piece of fat and as you can tell the bottom of it's pretty nice too. Now all it is is just, I'm going to throw it straight in the sink, I'm going to wash it off first with cold water and do it for five of them and throw out everything that's in here and hopefully I'll bring you back when they're all soaked and show you what happens after that. I'll speak to you later. Okay guys, as you can see, it's all filled up and it's covering the bacon, that's all you gotta do. Uh, the main thing I suggest is every two hours, change your water. I'm only leaving this in five hours. So I'll, I'll change it in two hours, which will be quarter past four. And then I'll leave it in till well, about 5.30, 6 o'clock maybe. Um, but other than that, that is really it. I'm going to take the outside and after this is finished soaking, I'll show you how I set up my fridge and we'll see when we'll go from there. Hey guys, I'm back um, and I've soaked all the pork and it's ready to go in the fridge. Now that's it right here. Now what I've done is I've just soaked it for five hours. You can soak it for however long you want. I'm just drawing out the moisture, uh, the salt and curing it. Now, this is the important part. We have to do a pellicle or pellicle, whatever you want to call it. This is where the smoke sticks to the pork and it makes bacon. Once it's cooked and hits a certain temperature, which I'll show you later on, that's it. Put a tea towel under it and just shut it in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I set up mine and that's really it. It's just caked in one, two and three up here. I'll put two on the big on, on the big pieces normally and one over there and they'll sit in there for 40, 48 hours at, at least till it becomes nice and sticky. Welcome back guys. I'm just ready to start smoking. I got my pork over here ready to go and uh, it's a beautiful day today I can't really complain as you can see the sun's out here in Melbourne um, I've got some apple wood and I've got some cherry wood now I'm smoking this at about 200-225 Fahrenheit and I'm gonna leave it till it hits 155 I like going just that bit over instead of leaving it at 150 I'll smoke it the whole way through or roughly a good hour and a half um, and that should be about it. I'll show you when I've finished with it, but as you can see, it's just, it's basic. Just turn it on and let it go. Make sure you keep an eye on it. Now, I've got a, a nice thermometer. Now, I bought this for about 20 bucks and using it compared to the other ones that I've had, it's the best one that I've got. I've got an eye grill that I use for long smokes, but this 
is better for me. I enjoy this a hell of a lot more and it's easier to use. But other than that guys, when it's finished, I'll bring you back and show you the final product. I'll speak to you then. See ya. Welcome back guys. As you can see, this is my bacon and it looks fantastic. This has taken an hour and 45 minutes at 220 and it is spot on. The smell coming off it is absolutely enjoyable. Now, this has taken me 11 days to get to this stage, as you can see. Now, I still have another two days to wait. I didn't want to get it too hot and bring it out, so it, it's really cold now, as you can see. I'll take it to my sister's to get sliced. I'll leave it sit another two days. It'll take 13 days all up to make this. So, so I will see you later when my sister finishes slicing it. Bye guys. Okay guys, I'm back. I finally got everything sliced. Sorry, I forgot to take my camera when my sister was there. And this is the final product. Hopefully you can see it. That's exactly what it looks like. Okay, I'll go back, big, back a bit more. That's it. Yes, it's, I've got about four, four bags like this. It smells fantastic. It looks great. It's salty, which is good. My mom doesn't like it, but I don't care. I'm happy with it. Um, next week, I'm going to do some bread, some brioche, and make this, uh, cook this, and I'm going to do a maple syrup butter with it. So... Until next week, I'll see you then. See you guys.